Hi, yeah. <laughs> um, so my name is Tina T and um, this is my friend Chikina. Hello, my name is Jakina. I have no idea what chickens have to do with tea, but who cares? Ha ha ha. Right, um. So I have a selection of teas that I would like to try with you. Um, and uh, I'm going to be sampling them in wine glasses which may seem a little odd but um, this is the only way that you should drink tea okay in a little wine glass I don't like to put boiling water into it either boiling water ruins the flavor of tea we really want to preserve the flavour of our tea and make it as tea-licious as possible. So, I'm going to start with some green tea and pomegranate. This is um, one of my favourites, but everything is my favourite. This little set is so cute. come in little pouches and it tells you the ingredients and the brewing time on the back so there should be no confusion when it comes to um, how to get the perfect tea okay just cut that there don't cut the bag I'm just going to pop that into one of my wine glasses so it's ready. And they come little cute tags on. It smells delicious. So, that's just going into one of my wine glasses just like that. That really smells wonderful. Second is green tea tropical. I can smell that straight away through the paper. I'll tell you the ingredients once I get them brewing and while we're waiting for them to brew. Oh, that smells really strong. I prefer the green tea and pomegranate I think but we're just going to plop that into the, the uh, what's it <laughs> wine glass lovely thirdly this isn't green tea this is ginger peach tea I'm not a huge fan of uh, ginger, sorry. Um, I don't mind gingers, but I don't like ginger that much. So 
So this tea has a lot of work cut out for it. I can smell that straight away through there, but it smells a lot more um, peachy than gingery, which is quite nice because, like I said, This one looks like it's got, um, you can see more bits in it, if you know what I mean, than the other two. So that's going to go straight in my wine glass. <laughs> These wine glasses are really nice, they're really thick and sturdy. Okay, so I've Boiled the kettle once, I'm going to boil it again. Now, this is going against everything I believe in when it comes to tea. Only ever boil your kettle once, but for the sake of demonstration, I need to boil it more than once, as much as it pains me. I'm just going to wait for that to sit for a bit, because I don't want to put boiling water in the glasses and crack them. So, while we're waiting for that to settle down, the tea will still brew in hot water. So don't panic. I'm gonna open all of them so they're ready. So this is spiced red fruits. I can't, mm. no, this, this one is a proper, Christmas tea. Oh my goodness. I can just smell the cinnamon. Um, and this is definitely proper. Oh yeah. A proper good Christmas. Christmas tea. Oh yeah, definitely. I'm excited to try that one. Super berries. Now, um, these ones, the, the rest of them I have left, they all say naturally caffeine free, which is good news for my teeny tiny pea-sized bladder. And for anyone with um, heart conditions like palpitations. This is great news. The three teas I've already put in don't say that. Which is interesting because I don't know why ginger... Oh, it's got black tea in it. Okay, we'll get to the ingredients in a bit. This one smells okay. Um, very fruity. Um, hence why it's super berries. And um, looks really nice actually. It smells it smells good. Okay. I'll open one more, then I'll pour the water in. Because we don't want it going too cold. So we have lemongrass, ginger and citrus. Ginger again. Like I said, it might surprise me. So, there we go. Okay. You can smell it through there already. Again, it's not, it's not particularly a strong ginger smell. I mean, I can smell it more in this one than the previous, but it smells really nice of lemongrass, which is the first ingredient. Okay, so let's pour these bad boys with water. So this is the... Uh, I'm going to wait a little bit longer actually. 
I know what you're thinking. How is it going to brew if you're leaving it so long? Absolutely perfectly fine, especially for such delicate tea flavours. Pomegranate blackcurrant medley. What can I say? This is interesting. can slightly smell it through the packaging. And this has a lot of ingredients in. Tea brewing time for this is um, about three minutes longer than the others. So, um, but it has a lot of um, ingredients in there, which is quite nice actually. Oh, this one looks very nice. <laughs> Chocolate super berry burst. Mmm. I am so excited to try these. Oh, mm. oh, that's going to be interesting. I don't know how the um, the chocolate and the super berries are going to work together. That seems very interesting and very peculiar. So we'll see. Okay. Then we have apple, rose hip, raspberry ripple. I would say these are very exotic sounding things here. Okay, it's not anything special. I can't really pick out what I smell in it, to be honest. No. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, now I'm going to pour water into these. So this is the first one. I'm only going to fill them about, yeah, that much is good actually. Um, I don't want to put too much in there. I'm just going to cool that water down a bit in the kettle because too hot for me to drink right away, which is just a disaster. It will still brew nicely though, but um, like you can trick yourself to think you're drinking a fine wine but it's not it's just tea okay so we let them sit for a while I'm just going to see if I've got any more glasses um no so I'm not going to let these go to the full brewing time because we'll be here all afternoon doing each tea. Doing that is good enough really because you're really dipping the flavours 
Now this one looks like a traditional tea, doesn't it? Like you need to add milk to it. Of course, you don't add milk to any of these because they're nice special teas. Okay, so the first one, the green tea and pomegranate. That has uh, organic and fair grade, <laughs> fair trade, green tea, organic rose petals, organic pomegranate pieces and natural flavorings. particularly like the smell of this one. I'm gonna burn my face off. Add a little bit of cold water to that. Very bitter, probably because of the way we brewed the tea. You obviously, this is not how you would do it at home. Um, brew, uh, boil the kettle once, and that's it. Okay, don't go crazy. Let's try the green tea tropical. This has organic green tea, organic spearmint, lemongrass, and natural flavorings. That tastes a bit like um, what you have for a cold. It's like that lemony, nice, kind of get into your sinuses kind of flavor, which is not a bad thing, but it's not a tea that I would like to drink um, on a daily basis. Okay, and let's try the ginger peach tea. Now this is one that I'm not sure on. Organic black tea, ginger, peach pieces, and natural flavorings. That's why it's got caffeine in, because these two contain green tea, and this one is normal black tea. That one's not actually too bad. Pleasantly surprised by the um, flavors. Um, the peach really comes through. It's um, more focused on peach, there must be more, what did I say first? Yeah, it, oh it's actually got more ginger in than it has peach, but obviously there's a stronger flavour. just comes through really nicely on that one. Okay, so time to bin the tea. Collect them up. and pour out the drinks and start again. Okay. Right, now we want, so we've done them once. Okay, now I'm going to try the uh, spiced red fruits, pomegranate black currant medley, and super berries. Okay. The spiced red fruits one I'm very excited to try because that's the, um, the one that smells very cinnamony. smells like Christmas. Why is it that we associate Christmas with cinnamon? It's very strange, isn't it? But, um, it's 
smells that smells okay that's um super berries then the pomegranate blackcurrant medley soil association organic interesting it smells like super berries okay Straight in there this time. They look the same colour so far. Well, So this is the first one. Now obviously, like I said, let them brew longer to get the true flavour. But I'm pushed for time today, so. We've got hibiscus, organic rosehip, organic apple pieces, organic cinnamon, peppermint, strawberry flavour, cherry flavour and raspberry flavour. Sounds really good, doesn't it? Oh, it smells good. Mm. If that was brewed for a bit longer, the cinnamon would come through, all the berries. Oh, sound, oh. It smells, tastes, looks, Amazing. I'm really happy with this one. Look at that colour. Really deep red. Beautiful. So we have this time super berries. Hibiscus rubus. Natural flavourings. Spearmint, raspberries, strawberries, blueberries. So that's burning me. Mm, I'm pleasantly surprised by that one. It's not as um, kind of, I don't know, gross as I thought it would be. Look how similar they look. Very, very similar in colour, the spiced red berries and spiced red berries <laughs> and the uh, super berries. So, last one in the three is pomegranate blackcurrant medley, which is rooibos again hibiscus pomegranate pieces roasted cocoa pieces flavorings pomegranate concentrate con cranberry concentrate raspberry concentrate blackcurrant concentrate all the ingredients in all of these by the way are organic which is really quite nice um i burped i do apologize Oh, that's interesting. I can I can feel the subtle uh, cocoa undertones in this one. Um, that's quite pleasant, actually. Hmm, that's not too bad. I quite like that one. Probably uh, spiced red berries is my favourite so far, just because I do like cinnamon and just tastes really good. Time to empty. Three more to go. Where are they? Done them once. So we now have apple, rosehip, raspberry, ripple. That's quite 
a mouthful. But it smells okay. That looks like a bigger bag than the others, I'm not sure. Stick that in the glass. Secondly, lemongrass, ginger and citrus. Ooh, that's, oh, that's very strong. I don't think I'll like this one, if I'm honest. Very... Um, I don't know, just very strong of... Just very citrusy. I, I mean, I like citrus fruits, but I don't know about that one. We'll see. This is the chocolate one. Chocolate soup are very best. I think I can kind of smell the chocolate. I'm not sure. It's really... It's quite overshadowed by the... Um, berries. <laughs> Can't get more words. So I'll stick that in there. Straight onto the filling up. There are traces of my berries in here. water left so just a bit in each I think water is obviously not very hot now so we'll see how they brew but I don't want to put the wine glasses in any danger Although I'm pretty sure these are um, heat proof, but then again, who knows? Because wine classes are technically not designed to have tea drunk out of, so if you are buying some for tea, be careful. Um, I personally think either a wine glass or a really big hefty mug on cold nights is a great way to drink tea. Okay, so what's this bad boy got in there? this again it doesn't tell me must be the apple one. Oh my goodness hibiscus rose hip apple pieces licorice oh I don't know then roasted chicory flavorings pomegranate concentrate raspberry concentrate black currant concentrate Oh, and it says, contains licorice. People suffering from hypertension should avoid excessive consumption. Oh, I say. I don't really like licorice, so we'll see about this one. I'm not a fan of that one, if I'm completely honest with you. It's just, the colour's beautiful, but it's just... I can, I can, it's very sweet and um, the licorice comes through a little bit, it's not too overpowering, but it's, it's weird because it's sweet but it's very woody as well, I don't really understand, just get that out of my mouth. lemongrass, ginger and citrus. Do not like the smell one bit so we'll see about this one. Lemongrass, orange peels, ginger, natural flavouring so not a lot in there. The tea bag looks quite disgusting if I'm honest. Got bits of white on the top there. Probably the orange peels. Very strong lemon flavour in there. I can't really taste anything else. I can taste the bitterness, bitterness actually of the orange peel, I think, because the peel is quite bitter compared to the actual orange. Um, not a fan of that one. We'll try this one. 
This is the chocolate one. This is the very, very interesting one. I'm just going to cleanse my palette. Okay. So. It smells like alcohol. Rooibos, whatever that word is. I don't know. Hibiscus, cocoa pieces, licorice again. Vanilla, I like vanilla. Natural flavorings, raspberry concentrate, black currant concentrate, pomegranate concentrate. Okay. This is the last crazy one. Do you know what? Pleasantly surprised. There's no horrible, like, too sweet flavor to it. Um, there's no licorice, I can't taste that. On first sniff, it smells like chocolate ice cream or chocolate and vanilla ice cream. It's actually quite pleasant. Um, I just ate the bag then. Um, it's quite, yeah, I'm, I'm pleasantly surprised. Pleasantly surprised. So, that was a very interesting tasting session, wasn't it? So, if you are interested in purchasing this yourself, um, this is what it looks like, the English tea shop. All organic and um, very interesting flavours in there. But some of them are very nice, others are particularly disgusting. So um, from me and Chikina. I say thank you for coming to my tea shop today and trying the flavours. Well, you didn't try any, I did. Um, you're welcome to taste some of them if you don't mind my spittle. So, um, goodbye. And, um, oh, so soft. This is a tea cosy, did I mention that? See, it's got room for the handle. And the spout. But it's just so cosy. <laughs> okay then. Goodbye. Thank you for coming.